and welcome to another awesomely mediocre tutorial by Trickmaster PC. Today we're going to talk about ASIC quality. So what is ASIC quality? To help us better understand this, let's look at the definition of ASIC. Application Specific Integrated Circuit, or ASIC, is a chip that is custom designed for a specific application rather than a general purpose chip such as a microprocessor. ASICs are hard programmed known as hardened, and usually spun in batches of 10,000 or more. As the chips roll off the fab, they are quality tested to ensure functionality and are usually assigned various qualities or speed grades. The speeds of the chip may vary slightly within a batch or by batch depending on the slightest variables, such as chemical, metallurgic, or tolerance in the production process. A high quality ASIC is one that achieves the highest clock speed while consuming the least amount of power and producing the least amount of heat. In essence, an ideal chip which functions closest to its design specifications. So what does ASIC quality have to do with GPUs? ASIC quality is merely a standard for rating the overall performance of a chip. When applied to the GPU, as a quality benchmark, the primary factors for consideration are power consumption and as a result temperature. GPUs are also assigned various speed grades in post-production. For example, EVGA will often release several variations of a product such as the GTX 980, Superclocked Edition, ACX Edition, a Classified Edition, a Hydrocopper Edition, and so forth. Typically, in order for a GPU to make the cut for one of EVGA's higher end cards, it more than likely would have an ASIC rating above 70%. So how will ASIC quality affect you? If you have a low ASIC score, don't fear. This simply means that the card will draw increased power, which correlates to higher temperatures. If you bought a graphics card and you're looking to overclock, be aware that higher clock speeds lead to increased power consumption, which leads to higher temperatures, in which case air cooling may not always suffice. So what's a good ASIC score? In the simplest terms, on air cooling, anything above 70%. On water cooling, anything above 60%. So if you purchased a high-end air cooling card with an ASIC score that is below 70%, such as the EVGA GTX 980 Classified, I would highly recommend that you RMA your card, since in essence, a higher ASIC score is what you're paying for. If you're planning to water cool, then as long as your ASIC score is above 60%, you'll be able to conservatively achieve a stable core clock increase of anywhere from 15 to 30%. So let's go ahead and open up Tech Power Ups GPU Z here. This can be downloaded from Tech Power Ups website. And uh, down here you have a drop down which shows um, the different graphics cards that you have installed in your system. I have two GTX 980s. So we'll take a look at the first GTX 980. And by right clicking in the header of this application, you can select read ASIC quality. A window will open up and it will tell you what your ASIC quality score is. So for GPU one, I'm looking at 69.8%. And this card is an EVGA GTX 980 uh, ACX2 edition. Okay, we'll take a look at the second card. And you'll see that my second card's quality is a 75.5. So these are pretty fantastic scores, although this is the, the ACX2 edition. You know, if I had the GTX 980 uh, Superclocked or the GTX 980 standard, um, we might see uh, lower ASIC scores like anywhere from um, 60 to 65%. Uh, but these are pretty solid ASIC scores. And right now I am water cooling these cards, so I'm able to achieve pretty significant overclocks and boost clocks with these cards and, and definitely maintain a solid temperature range. Well, that about wraps it up for this tutorial on ASIC quality ratings. Uh, check out my other tutorials on uh, YouTube or uh, trickmasterpc.com. I have some videos out there on how to flash high-performance ROM images to your NVIDIA uh, graphics cards, as well as how to enable PCI Express 3 if you're running on the X79 chipset. Also, if you get a chance, please click on an ad. Uh, the few pennies received really help support my tutorials. 
And again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I usually respond within uh, one day or less. Thank you.